What's up, Serial Heads? Today we're going to talk about a few new serials released for the fall season. Now this will be an incomplete list, as I'm sure there will be a few new serials that will hit shelves in the coming months, but I'm just going to talk about the ones that are out right now and that I got my hands on. First up, the new Cap'n Crunch limited edition variety, Touchdown Crunch. Now I believe the first time they released this variety was back in 2009. It's a seasonal flavor that Quaker has been known to put out around the start of the NFL season. And just like the baseball variety, Home Run Crunch, it's essentially just Cap'n Crunch with Crunch Berries. You can see here on the box it says Game Time Football Shapes, but they're basically just misshapen blue and green Crunch Berries. Now the best part about new Cap'n Crunch varieties these days is the back of the boxes. The artist who's been illustrating the back of these boxes is Ed Griffin, and he's been outdoing himself with each new box. And this one is no exception. You can see a cast of crazy characters here on the back, including modern renditions of some classic Quaker serial characters like the Soggies, Harry S. Hippo from Punch Crunch, the pirate Jean Lafoot, Smedley the Elephant from Peanut Butter Crunch, you got Sea Dog, Dave, Carlisle, and even the Crunchberry Beast. I hope they continue with these cool shoutouts to Quaker's history, and maybe even use some of these new characters that Ed created as future mascots. Alright, let's open it up and take a look. So here's what a bowl of this Touchdown Crunch looks like. You can see it's just regular Captain Crunch, and I guess the blue and green Crunch Berries are kind of shaped like footballs. You can slap any gimmick you want into a box of Captain Crunch or Crunch Berries, and I'll still buy it and love it. Okay, so that's Touchdown Crunch. Nothing special, but still a really cool box to collect. My only request is that Quakers start doing a Basketball Crunch cereal too. Come on, how hard can that be? Now, the next two cereals are based on a flavor that has become synonymous with autumn here in the U.S. And I'm of course talking about Pumpkin Spice. It seems like every year we get more and more products with this flavor, and I can't complain because I love it. But it's only August right now, so it's a little early for Pumpkin Spice. Nonetheless, the Pumpkin Spice cereals have arrived. Pumpkin Spice Cheerios and Pumpkin Spice Life should be hitting your grocery shelf soon. Let's start with Pumpkin Spice Life. Now I haven't done a video about Life cereal yet, so I'll cover that in detail in another video. But for now, let's just take a look at this box with a nice fall-colored Life logo here. And then on the back, we got a corn maze here and then some pictures of some leaves and taffy apples. Not much more to say. Life cereal is delicious. Pumpkin Spice is delicious. Sounds like a great combo. Let's check it out. So here's what a bowl of this Pumpkin Spice Life cereal looks like. You can see it's indistinguishable from regular Life cereal. There'd be no way to know this has Pumpkin Spice flavor in it. See, just like regular Life. No artificial colors or anything. But it's definitely got that delicious Pumpkin Spice flavor. Mmm, that's really good. It almost tastes like you're eating pumpkin pie. I'm a huge fan of Life Cereal in general, particularly the cinnamon flavor. But I gotta say, this new special flavor might be my favorite version of Life Cereal yet. It's a shame it's only gonna be on shelves for a limited time. I better go buy a bunch of boxes and stock up. Okay, finally it's time for the bell of the ball, Pumpkin Spice Cheerios. Now you might remember I did a video a while back where I pitched the idea of a seasonal cereal of the month club where I gave suggestions for cereal makers to try. Then in November, it's still fall time, people still love pumpkin spice, so let's introduce some pumpkin spice Cheerios. So General Mills, you can just start sending me the royalty checks for the cereal whenever you want. I think you have my address. But anyway, I love this box here. It's in the same vein of the limited edition strawberry Cheerios that came out earlier this year. Hopefully these limited edition seasonal flavors of Cheerios continue. You can see on the back here they have a nice simplistic design with the spices and flavors that go into making this cereal, including pumpkin puree, cloves, oats, nutmeg, and cinnamon. Okay, I've been dying to try this one. Let's check it out. So check it out. Here's what a bowl of pumpkin spice Cheerios looks like. You can see they have a little bit of a pumpkin orange color glaze to them. Gotta hit it with some milk. Mmm, so good. I love how Cheerios doesn't let the flavor overpower the cereal. It's not too sweet, and it's the perfect level of pumpkin spice. And after these Cheerios sit in the milk long enough, you get some creamy, delicious pumpkin spice milk. So this one is probably my favorite of these three new cereals. I'm glad I came up with it. You're welcome, General Mills. Also, I should note there's a third pumpkin spice cereal that just came out, Special K Pumpkin Spice Crunch. Now, I'm not a huge fan of Special K, so I didn't pick this one up. Oh, and by the way, these aren't the first pumpkin spice cereals to come out. There have been others before, and I'm sure there'll be others in the future as well. Okay, that's going to do it for the fall season cereal update. Keep your eyes peeled for other new cereals, and those monster cereals are just around the corner. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay crunchy. Can't wait for some booberry. Cereal.